Hey YouTubers, Chris here. Today, we're gonna take our first attempt at creating a rock shelf, or rock ledge for my rock iguanas. Simply using some shelving brackets, plank of wood, some styrofoam, and some grout. How's it gonna turn out? Stay tuned, let's find out. Simply just involved drawing out the shape of the plank of wood where the shelf is gonna be mounted to, and a rough outline of the rock ledge itself. And which is the simple, you can use a jigsaw, but a handsaw will get it done. And simply just start cutting. And there's the basic shape. Okay, so using the outline of the first one that we cut, we made two additional pieces. Now we're gonna cut this rectangular shape out of this one. This is going to be the base that's gonna fit into the board for the shelf right there. We're gonna stack them three feet tall so that it's appropriate thickness, because you don't want it to be too flimsy and you wanna be able to sculpt it into the shape of a crevice rock shelf. So let's get started with that now. Okay, now that we cut out the base piece. And in short, it's going to stack like so. So it is three boards thick. And you fit your shelving board right inside. So we can mount it. and then your shelving brackets will go in like so. And this will be the view from the upside down side. All right, now we're gonna glue the boards together and flip it over. Okay, some time has passed between the last video, but I did the rest of the carving. I added an additional tier here, just give it a little more three-dimensionalism when you're looking at it. Like that. And now I am adding texture with just a fork. To make it look less like styrofoam. Just gonna keep chipping away with stabbing at it. And eventually we'll get this nice grainy feel to it. And let's see what it looks like now. Okay, I have finished sculpting and I have textured to my desire. And now we're ready to start grouting it. Recommend you wear a dust mask because grout has silica in it. And you don't want to be breathing that in, mix outdoors. And the first coat, you want a watery consistency. It's really simple, you just add water to it to get the consistency that you want. But everything that I've seen says to start out with a watery start. So that's what we're gonna do. And we are going to start applying the coat now. Goes on just like paint. Sort of a sandy grain texture. So, this is the start. I'll stop filming now because I need two hands and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, we are all done grouting. I applied between three and five coats. And I just applied the first coat of paint and I'm using just a brown paint. You can get it at any craft store, acrylic base. And I got a nice tip and by the way, go to lizardlandscapes.com. Check out the YouTube channel. I've been learning a lot from that channel, lizardlandscapes.com. I put some paint in a spray bottle, diluted it down, and just sprayed it on so it doesn't scrape 
the grout off and it makes applying it really easy. It's basically the poor man's airbrush and it's really, really awesome. So that's uh, the first coat of paint I just put on. I got some other colors I'm going to play around with to give it different shades for the crevices and nooks and crannies to make it look a little more realistic than just a brown chocolate rock. So, touch back on that in a second. Okay, we finished applying the paint. I added some sand for some traction and grip, and I put a sealant on it, which was just watered down Mod Podge, which you can get at any craft store, and it is ready to go. I, only hindsight is I wish I picked the sand that was a little closer to the paint scheme, so I'm going to be using the rest of the sand, so I'm going to go with more tanner looking rocks, because it uh, kind of has a frosted sprinkle look to it, like ice cream, but there we go. Porous, it's finished. You can wash this down. Got the sand coming off, it's adhered pretty well. The iguana should be able to grip it no problem. And now I shall install it into their habitat. All right, and here we have the finished product. It's installed with my rock iguanas. My female is currently using it, who I hope is grabbing. There's the male and the other one. So, pretty happy how it came out. I just mounted it to the standard shelving hardware. You can see the underneath, it's just the board. I might uh, carve another piece of foam to cover up the uh, mounting brackets to give it the complete illusion, but there it is. They've been enjoying it. And I'm gonna continue making more, one to go in that corner, and kind of a ladder effect gradually going down the bottom of their enclosure. But all in all, it came out very well and was very easy to do. It saved me quite a lot of money. Not a lot of time, but a lot of money. So I look forward to making the next one. Alright. Thanks for watching.